I thank all of you for honoring us with your presence. Some of you, that firstly, are symbols of progressive politics in Nigeria. Like the Rock of Gibraltar, at every critical juncture in the history of this nation, you stood up to be counted. And for you to be part of us today is a thing of joy for us. We thank you all. The good Lord will continue to honor all of you. Please grant me the indulgence to recall very quickly four epochal events that provide the critical backdrop to today's gathering. The first was on December 4, 2006, when I invited you all to Akure City Hall to make known my desire to offer myself for the position of governor at the April 14, 2007 election. On July 25, 2008, Exactly four years ago today, in the Akura High Court, the Elections Petition Tribunal under Justice Garuba Mabaruma gave its seminal judgment, declaring us winner of April 2007 election. That was the second landmark. It is, it is interesting that today, exactly four years ago, that was when, when we got in Abaruma judgment. The third was the February 23, 2009, affirmation of the Nabaruma judgment by the appeal court, presided over by Justice Umaru Abdullahi. This provided the basis for the first major event, my inauguration, on February 24, 2009, as governor of Ondo State for a term of four years. On each occasion, I made a broad commitment to work for you, the good people of our state. I give thanks to God that three and a half years on, we have, by the grace of God, lived by that commitment. During these three and a half years, we made the people of Ondosto the central focus of governance. We emphasized the string of people-oriented programs. We, by the sheer magnitude and quality of our projects, benchmarked on those things for Nigeria, and did in many respects for our continent, Africa. By so doing, we have succeeded in overcoming the mutual distrust and suspicion that characterize the relationship between government and the people. We have raised the profile of governance and set the standard beyond which no government can afford to fall in our dear state. We have set standards below which no government can afford to fall in our dear state. For three and a half years that we have been at the Hems Affair in this state, we have, by the grace of God, pursued activities that cohere with our vision of government. We have formulated policies that were informed by the collective interest of our people. Executive projects focusing on the primacy of man in the scheme of development. And generally we have democratized access to good things of life for the dear people of our state. As we promised you in 2009, we have not shied away from what we consider the obligation of government in a society like our own. We have thus delivered programs directed, as we promised, at ensuring that the weak in society are given opportunities to develop and actualize their potentials. My good people of all those states, it is in the conviction that within the limits of our God-given resources and ability, we have kept faith with the electorate that I suddenly today seek your mandate for a second time in office as governor.
If you are going to give me that mandate, let me see your hand. I thank you, God bless and follow you. We require this. We require this for five major reasons. And I want you to listen to our five major reasons. I will end on shade. First, there is a compelling desire to complete several projects that we have initiated during the first time. Secondly, we desire to emplace a new string of programs that are rated as enhancing the quality of life of our people. In clear focus in this regard, are a sustained job creation initiative for our youth. A sustained job creation initiative for our youth. All the youth in the house, let me see your hand. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. We also focus on our inner city of Federal Road in Riders and a replication of our Bank Renewal Program, which we have already delivered in the state capital, which has been so widely acclaimed. Thirdly, we desire to use the next four years to lift up those of our people that are still left behind and take to those cities and communities that are yet to have some of the projects of ours by which our government has been landmarked these three years. We shall therefore, in this respect, continue to build mega schools for you where they are still known. We shall continue to deliver mother and child hospitals. We shall continue to construct neighborhood markets. We shall continue to construct motor parks. We shall build more agricultural cities. And we shall continue to build industries and revive our moribund industries. Fourthly, we desire to solidify the regime of peace which is not as blessed us with in those things this past three and a half years. And we shall do this through continued delivery of responsible governance. Finally, we desire to continue to contribute to the deepening of democracy in our land. And this we shall continue to do through clear-headed performance and delivery of the public good. And thus, on rather efforts of some in our society to substitute sloganiani for responsible governance. We desire to solidify the foundation of an irreversible path to development, which we have made this past three and a half years in our sunshine states. We desire to continue to further empower our people through a conscious process of social and economic emancipation that helps to blow the sharp edges and cleavages that divide our society. It is therefore on the basis of the following by group people of those states that I, Dr. Rahman, by your Jeremy by the grace of God Almighty, Governor of your dear state, these three and a half years, I humbly declare my interest in seeking a second term of office as Governor of your state. And on this democratic platform, to request your support to enable me to return for more four years as your governor. Let me also add that I desire to run again on the platform of your party, the Labour Party. Undoubtedly the most progressive party in this country today. A party with extensive potential, anchored on the increasing knowledge among our people, the quality, depth, and breadth of performance of governance is the principal yardstick by which progressive politics is built, not by the depth of your capacity for sloganeering. Let me again this day also renew my covenant which I made with you before the election of 2007 and at my inauguration on the 4th of February 2009. By the special grace of Almighty God and with your trust and confidence, I again 
declare today that I will continue to work for you. I will continue to work for you. I say without equivocation, without any doubt in my heart, without any doubt, on the celebrity convictions that I will continue to work for you. Our desire at the end of the second time that we seek by God's grace is that we would have fundamentally restructured governance in all those streets through glaringly high achievements that the barometer of performance that have been set at a level that no government can go below again in all those streets. That distinguished ladies and gentlemen is the legacy we intend to bequeath to the Sunshine State. And it is our belief that with divine providence and your continued support is achievable. Before I conclude this speech, permit me the good people of all those states to express my sincere appreciation to those who in North Swam and your contributor to the team spirit that is responsible for the success that God allowed us during the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, I solicit your support again to join me in thanking and the high chief and Naji Olanu Siadi, my deputy governor, who has cooperated with me this last year and a half years. And my prayer is that the good Lord will continue to keep him. The good Lord will also continue to keep Alaja. So that she will continue to make you keep him looking young. I have also enjoyed the robust cooperation of the legislature. I've enjoyed the, legislature, the, the robust cooperation of the legislature. And I want to thank Mr. Speaker and all members of the House. I also want to thank the judiciary for their support. In conclusion, let me seize this opportunity to congratulate all Democrats across the nation on the growing prospect of clean elections and by implication survival of democracy in our land. On behalf of the good people of Ondo State, I applaud the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Juglok Ebele Jonathan, for his commitment to free and fair election. I think you will put your hands together for Mr. President. <laughs> he demonstrated this once again in the responsible manner in which he deployed security forces, thereby making clean elections possible in those states a couple of weeks ago. It is evident that Mr. President is creating a niche for himself in this respect, and I am confident that history will be kind to him if he chooses to sustain this patriotic option. We must also appreciate Dr. Tahiru Jaga for the very, very competent way the Edo election was handled, and we are looking forward to a better performance in Ondo State. I want to thank KBSs, I want to thank the civil servants, I want to thank artisans, and I must particularly thank the civil servants of Ondo State for their show of solidarity. I want to thank all of you, and I say the good Lord will bless all of you. Thank you. Oh no, the jack in don't you to you. Oh, they don't you to your law about. Oh no, don't shake the kidney. I don't shake the gay you. I do the show. You better not let us see. Bash, shake, shake, love, just see. Bash, shake, shake, nigga, want me. Baba, oh, I do the show. You better.